We did it. What? We got it. You did it, yeah. Go back and get the other couple of pieces that you weren't here for. And you will be blown away. There might be some pieces that you're missing that kind of leave you at the effect. Um, to, like a lost power. Uh, I was talking to her. Oh, so <laughs> she was stuck in a little bit. Of her. So, how, what are you present to right now? Um, you were feeling bad a minute ago. What are you? What are you feeling now? Now I feel that I have to get on my feeling miserable. <laughs> yeah, I have to just think of your words and maybe just got some experience from you in, in this point. Okay. Because. That you told that the story that you told. What? Yeah, the story that you told us. Yeah. About running this course for us. It's. Yeah. It's what? I have to think about it. You have to think about it. Yes. Okay. I, 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 I can be very rude if I if I will answer now. All right. Well, so what's your what emotion is there right now? Um. Uh, you see, I'm what emotion that. are you present to? Do you have an emotion or a mood? I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, I, I'm confessed. Something like this. She's thinking. You're thinking. Yes. Okay. But did you notice she she had a mood that was different a little while ago, and she said, "Well, now I feel that." Mm -hmm. And now she doesn't have that mood anymore. She has the thinking mood, right? And in a little while, she'll have another mood. All of that stuff. That's how we are as humans. It just goes, <laughs> right? <laughs> And every once in a while we'll grab one and go and get fascinated with it. Oh yeah, that's right. I really don't love him anymore. I knew it. I knew it. Right? And then you meet him and then, oh, he is really pretty cute. Maybe I should keep him right in that that right? And that's how we are. <laughs> Alright. So we have 22 minutes. I think we discussed this pretty good. Let's do the next section. The next section is putting it all together. I think it's only about 10 slides. When taken as a whole, maybe it's only one or two. When taken as a whole, the foundation for a leader and leadership provi provides one with access to power. In this course, what is meant by power? On the following slide is a quote attributed to Charles Reich. The way Reich speaks about power is somewhat poetic, but certainly conveys the sense in which, in which we use the word power in this course. The second underlying sentence in the code, quote is less poetic and gets closer to the description of what we are speaking about in our use of the word power. We added the underline. Note that the last sentence of the quote is not poetic at all. It fits literally with what we mean by power. So here's a quote. Power means to me pretty much the same thing as freedom. Power is a thing that everybody wants the most that they can possibly have of. That is, skiing is power. Sex appeal is power. The ability to make yourself heard by your congressman is power. Anything that comes out of you and goes out into the world is power. And in addition to that, the ability to be open, to appreciate, to receive love, to respond to others, to listen to music, to understand literature, all of that is power. By power, I mean human faculties exercised to the largest possible degree. So in a way, in a large sense by power, I mean individual intelligence. Now when you reach out to another person through the energy or creativity that is in you, and that other person responds, you are exercising power. When you make somebody else do something against their will, to me that is not power at all, that is force. And force to me is the negation of power. Power 
is always an exercise of something. Power equals the size of your intentions divided by the time it takes for your intentions to get realized. When I do not honor my word, I diminish power. The less authenticity I have, the less power I have. And some of you haven't read, gotten the authenticity parts, but this is what we're talking about. The authenticity part is out there. When I am committed to myself, I have little power. When I am at the effect, I have no power. When you have as your foundation, being a person of integrity, being authentic, being committed to something bigger than myself, and being caused in the matter, you have given yourself a foundation that is truly powerful. Do you want me to say anything about power equals the size of your intentions divided by the time it takes for your intentions to get realized? Do you understand what that means? Power equals your desires. Power equals the size of your intentions divided by the time it takes for your intentions to get realized. Mm -hmm. Power equals the size of your intentions. I intend to bring the leadership course and put it in every university in Ukraine, Russia, and Eurasia. Say that, okay? So it's I want to. No, it's not I want to. It's what I'm committed to. I don't. Is it what you will do? My wants, if you <laughs> choose, remember choosing like a leader chooses, at some point your wants will no longer be sufficient to carry the day. This is beyond what I want. It's not what I want. My intention. You remember that part? Okay. Go to the part where choosing like a leader chooses. Maybe you haven't done it yet. And in there, you will see what a leader chooses based on his choice, not the reasons. Because after a while, the reasons won't be good enough or big enough or something enough. And you choose because you choose. All right? So, yeah. No question. She was in this point, but she has a stop. Uh -huh. uh, no, I got to start for um, for clash. No, yes. oh. you just oh. have to listen to this part and then get the story. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I wasn't there really. So All right, but you will, and then you will have another start. <laughs> have you done? Listen to the part choosing like a leader chooses. I you will? Yeah. Okay. No problem. All right. Thank you. I got it. So, back to power equals your intentions divided by the time. So I have this intention that's huge, right? It's massive. And if I do that in a year, I'll be pretty powerful. If I do that in a week, I'm really powerful, <laughs> right? So it's your intention divided by the time it takes. I mean, it may take some time beyond when I'm not even here anymore, right? But that's what power is. Gorbachev had a lot of power with his mouth. He brought down the Berlin Wall. It took him how many seconds to say that? And then how long did it take? To, that's power. That's that's. In huge intention divided by a fairly short amount of time. Power. So when you have as your foundation being a person of integrity, being authentic, being committed to something bigger than yourself, and being cause of the matter, you've given yourself a foundation that is truly powerful. What comes out of your mouth will take hold much sooner than not, not having that foundation. You have power when you have integrity, authenticity, being committed to something bigger, and being cause of that. You will move mountains. So this will be your homework over the break period, right? Have this
sometimes we can make a profound difference in your life. Experience yourself when you occur for yourself as an object of properties, what's going on with you internally. It could include your emotions, your point of view, your attitude, what you think, you know, all that stuff that happens when you're not out here. Experience yourself when you occur to yourself as a clearing in which life is happening. Remember the clearing in which life, remember the out here experiment? experiment? It ended up with, well, maybe you're a clearing for all of it. So experience yourself when you occur for yourself as a clearing in which life is happening. The clearing you are. What kind of clearing are you for life to show up in? Uh, what kind of clearings are? <laughs> Can you flip the light, both those lights on? Behind the bookcase on the right, there's rockers. You just you switch them on. Oh. What kind of, what did you say? Clearance. What kind of clearing? Yeah. What's a clearing? Oh, is that, that around with like a space? Yeah. 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 Everything that's around with us, you can call it clearing, right? Yeah. So then, uh, what it's what a, it's, it's what's there that allows something to show up in, right? Yes. And if you're a clearing and something shows up in, well, you, you must have been a clearing for that to show up because it showed up in the clearing. And what doesn't show up in the clearing, you weren't a clearing far because it didn't show up in, like possibility. So, do I give you that again? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, if you're not a clearing for having a boyfriend, a boyfriend isn't going to show up in that clearing. Maybe even it's some decision that you made a long time ago that you're not even aware of it. But if you have constituted yourself as a certain as a clearing, acts, you know, constituting yourself as an act of a declaration, it's creative act. If it happened in the past, it was a decision, not a declaration. But anyway, things, this, decisions in the past create clearings, and the declarations create clearings. So, the ones of you that have boyfriends are a clearing for boyfriend, because that shows up. Doesn't mean that you're not, I mean, I don't know what, what your situations are, it doesn't mean that you're not, just one hasn't shown up yet. Right? People who have a lot of money are a clearing for money to show up. And there are some people who don't, and they're not a clearing for that. They're just not a clearing for that. They're not bad people, they're just not a clearing for that. So a clearing allows for something to show up. Okay? What kind of clearing are you for life to show up in? So if one is clearing to be miserable and at the, always at the effect of something, like a victim, right? Happiness isn't going to show up in that clearing, probably. But if you're a clearing for being fulfilled, happy, satisfied, successful, then that, if you're a clearing for that, then that can show up. So what kind of a clearing are you for life to show up in? Yeah. Observe all the things that show up in the clearing you are. Source of my way of being and my actions. About the following phrase. The way in which a situation occurs for me is colored and shaped by my context for that situation. And my way of being and acting are naturally necessarily correlated in a dance with, with the way in which that situation occurs for me. You might want to write that down if you aren't going to look it up in the, in the textbook. So you, you want this in front of you until we meet on Tuesday. So there's this, follow up this phrase. I want to make sure that you get, get the phrase, okay? If you don't get it, raise your hand. Come back having discovered this for yourself or be able to say that you merely understand this and accept that it may be valid, or that you simply reject it. So you understand it, you accept that it might be valid, or you simply reject it. I have, we have 10 minutes, is that correct?
you remember context being shaped by context and the power of context? Do you remember that kite and grandma story? You guys have no problem taking this into your native languages, do you? Because I noticed you, what, what you get when, when you run the course experiments, you're probably not doing them in English. Yeah. Right? Translating in our head. Huh? Translating always in our head. Translating always in your head. Because so yeah. it uses you in your Ukrainian slash Russian life as well as in your English life, right? I mean, it impacts your whole of life, not just the part of life you live as an English speaker. Is that correct? Yes or no? Or you don't know? <laughs> Do you, or you don't understand the question? Yes. Okay. You don't understand the question? Okay. If you only got this in English, it would make, you went home, you went to where you live in Lviv, and you would have the same kind of life you always have. But then when you come back into the English-speaking uh, area, then you're given by what you got in leader and leadership. So in other words, it doesn't cross the language barrier. But it does, doesn't it? It does. Okay, that's what I'm asking. I'm not, I'm not taking that for granted. But it does. And for anybody, does it not? Down there? Yeah, it does. Yeah? Okay. Let's see what else on the assignment, and then we'll come back to that page. Integrity. Discover for yourself that who you are as a person is your word. Discover the impact of out-of-integrity behavior, specifically that any out-of-integrity is a diminution of yourself. You're diminished. Authenticity. Where in your life can you acknowledge having been inauthentic and about which you are willing to be authentic. Experiment being authentic with someone with whom you have been inauthentic. You're going to have to look this up. Being committed to something bigger than yourself. What are you committed to that needs you to be bigger than the way you wound up being? What are you committed to that needs you to be bigger than the way you wound up being, being cause and matter. Discover in your own experience that the difference between I am at the effect of X and I am the cause and that I am cause and matter of X. Discover in your own experience the difference between the two. I'm at the effect of X and I am the cause. I am cause and matter of X. This personal experiment, you already did that. That's the out. That's where, where are you? All right, so this, the way, we have five minutes. So the way in which a situation occurs for me is colored and shaped by my context for that situation. And my way of being and acting are naturally necessarily correlated and advanced with the way in which that situation occurs for me. So, daily enough, from time to time, you are entertained a lot. In what? You are, okay, so there's a situation. All right, so there's this, my way of being and acting. So, you have this way of being and acting when you smile and, yeah, you laugh and, right? That's pretty much how you are is you get people around you engaged and you get them laughing. You know what I'm talking about? You don't have to be serious about this. This is okay. 
probably just some way you wound up being. But we're going to take this and map this on so that you can get what this means, okay? It's okay. Now is not the time to stop being funny. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. So there's the way in which the situation occurs for you. Yeah, and it's colored by the context of that situation. And your way of being and acting are naturally, necessarily correlated in a dance with the way in which that situation occurs for you. So how does the classroom setting occur for you such that it gives you this way of being and acting? How do, are you like this in every classroom? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> you guys know. Okay, is she like this in every classroom? They don't know. They don't know. Oh. Yeah. I just okay, find you some funny moments in every class, in every situation, and that's why I have a good mood. You have you find a funny thing in every situation. Yes, yes, I <laughs> I'm trying. You try to. So that's why I have a good mood. If I uh, if I take all the things very serious, I will be sad and all, all the day will be awful. But <laughs> I'm trying to find something good, something funny. Okay, so, so the context you create is, can you say it? What's the context you're creating that colors and shapes? This, the way in which a situation for me occurs for me. Oh, okay, so the way the situation occurs for you is that if you're, you're you have a, a blue mood, what do you call all those bad moods when you're not having fun? What do you call them as a group? Sadness. Sadness. Okay. The way in which a situation occurs for me. So it may, it will occur for you that if you're sad, you will be You will be sad. And you and what does it mean if you're sad? What does it mean if you are sad? It means a lot of things that uh, I don't feel uh, no, I, I won't see some good things because I have a bad mood. Something good is happening. Uh, I don't know, a friend can tell you something good, but you don't see it because you are at another state of mind. You are what? You have, a, because you have a, another uh, state of mind. Another state of mind. So, so you have to keep a, an up state of mind or you'll miss what? I'll miss uh, something good that is happening with my friends, with, um, I don't know, it, even in the street, maybe something funny, but I will miss it because I will be like closed with my, uh, with my thing. Okay, so if you're not up and happy, you'll miss something good. Yes. And yeah. if I am happy, I will bring something good to others. And if you are happy, okay, the way in which the situation occurs for you. So how does the situation occur for you, this situation, right now, everywhere, all the time. It's not just here. It's when you walk across the street. You just said that. The situation occurs for you that you'll miss something if you're, you'll miss something good if you're not in a good mood. If I'm closed with my thoughts. If you're closed with your thoughts. Yes. And if you're in a good mood, you're open with your thoughts. Yes. Okay, so the situation occurred. So you can't be in a bad mood and be open. That's what you're saying. I can't. I don't know. That's what you said. <laughs> I'm just telling you the opposite of what you just said. Yeah, it is it, it, Yes, if you're in a good mood, you'll be open. Yes. yes? And if you're not in a good mood, you'll be closed. And if you're open, you won't miss something happening. Is that time? Oh, it's kind of, we're out of time. But we can, if you want to continue. So you, you want to go over a little bit? Yeah. All right. <laughs> and if anybody has to go, you can go, because the class is over.
but I'm going to keep talking if you're willing. Okay? All right. So, there, so the, the context is you'll miss something if you're not in a good state of mind. So you have to keep in a good state of mind. Yes. And that color, so the way the situation occurs for me is colored and shaped by my context. Your context is I have to be in a good mood. And that colors how situations occur for you. And so your actions are, are naturally, necessarily correlated in a, in a dance with the way in which that situation occurs for me. So she has to always be up and on to be open. Otherwise, she'll miss something. Yeah? So her actions are perfectly correlated with the way the world occurs for her. The world occurs for her is she'll miss something if she's not in a good mood. So she has to be in a good mood, and then she gets other people to be in a good mood around her. Yeah? Never mind that it's distracting to other people, but it's the way that it occurs for her and her actions. If I make a wrong, I will have no power in my relationship with her if I make that wrong. But if I can see, oh, I see, she has to be entertain herself and other people in order for her to be open. So if I don't kind of let her do that a little bit, then she won't get this course because I need her to be open. And if she's sad and upset, she'll be closed and she won't get the course. Now I have power in my relationship with her. Yeah? And you all do too. It's like, oh yeah, well, there's Elena doing that thing so she can be open. I got it. Okay. No problem. Right? And you can grant her being and you have some power. We're going to get into this later. Actually, how do you do that? All right. So that's how the situation occurs for her. It's colored and shaped by the context of the situation. The context, you get the context for her, right? And her way of being and acting is she doesn't have any other choice except to do that. Unless you want her to be sad and not get the course and not open. She, she can't be open and sad at the same time in her world. It's not the truth about life, but in her world, it is. She put that together somewhere in her childhood. And, you know, so, huh? It's, it's just uh, uh, not right that uh, everything is from the childhood. I, I don't believe that theory. All right, you it don't have to not. believe it. But <laughs> it's fine. We, we'll, we'll try it out. It, no, it, the future actually gives you being in the present. You just have some of your past filed in the future. And you can take it out and you can, you know, we're going to talk. So, what else? Does somebody have something they want to say? I'm done. I'm done.